Just live this here lifestyle. We came straight from the bottom to the top of my lifestyle. Yeah, all right, people. This is your boy, Glass Boy, the Glass Boy TV show, episode 3. I'm talking about lifestyle. All my guests today have Timmy Costa from the healthcare too. Yeah, Timmy Costa. Welcome to my TV show. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for having me over here, man. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing great. I don't know uh, how much. Yeah, yeah me, I'm just doing great. That's, that's, yeah. that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's, that's great, awesome. Great, great. So, Timmy Costa. Who is Timmy Costa? Introduce yourself. All right. Timmy Costa is somebody, is a person, is a person on the come up. Timmy okay. Costa is somebody who got a great vision. Okay. Yeah, so Timmy Costa, I myself, my real name is that. Michael Mumba, but I'm usually calling myself Timmy Costa because of some second reason. Okay, Timmy Costa is a musician, stroke, is a fashion blogger over here. So, this is the off key attitude, this is just a sample of it, and we got a lot of things to introduce in off key attitude, man. Okay, man, you say that your real names are Mike Mumba. Yeah, we are also a musician. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, okay, that's good. Cool. Yeah, and also, yeah, fashion is, yeah, that's good, man. So, I yeah, try to explain how to start your music. Alright, okay, my music way back, way back, way back, way back. I think that was in 2015, the moment I met my friends. Most of my, most of my friends I had that time we were doing music and I wasn't doing music. So, you know that thing? Most of the time, you had, you had to do things for competition most of the time. So, I was just rap music, okay. but it was something different which was for my friends. So, I decided to start music and my first track, it was a feature by the way. Somebody just told me to jump on this track, so it was a feature. So that's how I started music, and that was the time I met Waji Oxy. I knew Kwani, my brother, KMJ, and that, that was the time I knew even Ranger by the So that's how I started music. It was so complicated. I never even thought that I can be a mobile artist. Okay, yeah, that's a good history, I mean, that's Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So you're talking about your passion, you know, so print t shirt, you know, t shirt. Yeah, how, how do you do How do you do this? All right, how I balance things up is that, um, okay, I'm one person who got a great vision. Okay. The, the biggest problem we have and the biggest, the biggest challenge we have is Kapi. Okay, okay. Yeah, our town is kind of different from other towns. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to do, I'm trying to keep two bases in one store. Yeah. So I'm trying to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, stuff, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff, always I'm doing different things. Okay. So I'm trying to pull up the same off-key okay, attitude okay. shirts. Then this, this is just the name, it's more like a company name. Okay. So we got a lot of things to come out from off key attitudes. As in, maybe let me just say next month we'll be we'll be launching a new t-shirt called Emoji. Emoji okay. Yeah, the off key attitude will be launching t-shirts called Emoji and they will be launching also shirts for Capri with us. I'm so KPM. So we got a lot of things to do, man. Yeah, that's that's a good t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, so how much do you sell your t-shirts? Our t-shirts, the off-key t-shirts, just this one, this is just a sample, it's 95. It is 95, okay. Yeah, so the emoji t-shirts and the I'm so KPM. We haven't yet decided about the price. We don't know how much it will cost enough for them to be published. So we're going to decide about that. But soon from now we're going to introduce them. Okay, so who's the CEO of the Okay, okay yeah, how many are you in In that group, let me just say as in that group. The CEOs, there are only two CEOs. Two? I myself and Amos Chichi. Amos and Chichi. I have okay. friends and I have friends and villages who are into it. Okay. I have my friend that's called Sydney Coach, one of our advertising managers. So, and I got Boka there, people are helping us to do that. We have many people supporting this So, that's the thing. Okay, who came up with that name of the Okiadu? I went to this that exactly. Try to be specific. Off key attitude started this year. This year? Yeah, on this year. Okay. So I'm the one who started with this off key. Okay. But the attitude name came from the old attitude because we are in we are more like in a, an empire or a crew called old attitude. Old attitude. So I thought of off key and attitude will be representing our old okay. our crew. So that's where the attitude is coming from. Yeah. The off key is just a brand, a off key where something like that you know. So you mean that the the old attitude and the off key attitude are more like a bond. Yeah, it's more like a bond. It's more like a bond. your brothers, man. Okay, your brothers. Okay, yeah. Timmy Costa. Today, bring us to the topic of talking about lifestyle, man. So, Timmy Costa, can you just tell me what is lifestyle, man? Okay, lifestyle is just something which is very critical to us. Man. 
critical year yeah. and uh, to those adults and those youth, it's yeah. very difficult. Lifestyle is just according to how you get it and how you live. Yeah, yeah. So, as in, I might talk about Kapiwi lifestyle. Kapiwi lifestyle is too much of competition. Competition? Why? Why competition? <laughs> because why competition, man? You know, you know how, how, how us youths we do things? Yeah. When somebody has something which is trending, yeah. you think you're just pulling up for that, or maybe for, for levels or what? Yeah. That's just not We only do that to increase ourselves. So, most of the people, we do things for competition. That's the biggest problem we have. The one for competition, yeah. So how do you understand the people, yeah, the teenagers? How, how, what makes them to have uh, that uh, competition mind? Yeah. What, what do you think? All right. Let me let me talk about my town first of all. Your town, yeah. Yeah. Kapim first is of all, we are talking about Kapim. Watch my seat, yeah. Our live on the Glasgow TV show. All my guests have Timmy Cos. Yeah, Timmy Cos. I can just pop up one or two things. Yeah. The thing is that Kapiri is a very small town which yeah. is developing right now. I was born in Kapiri, by the way, and that was. Yeah, you're going to Yeah, I was born. Yeah, we are, we are both born in Kapi. That's yeah. Conversation, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So that, so that's the biggest thing. We have, we have the biggest competition over here. We have teenagers who really want to be on top of fashion. Yeah. Well, let's say in there, man. Yeah, that is there. I and my team, yeah. we are usually, we are usually into fashion. That's, yeah, that's good. So most of the times when we are putting on things which are trendy, they might think that you are doing that for competition to show them levels, but just that's good. That's just what we do, man. We only do that to impress ourselves. Oh, that's we, want to, we, want, we want to follow fashion. Yeah, fashion. If yeah. you remember, there was, there was a song which was done by, by Drifter Trek and Man. Yeah. Uh, there, there was a part Man to said, and the fashion is that you shared it. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, that. yeah, that was cool. Okay, most of the time there are, there are some stars which come out, but they are not. Yeah, they are you might, you might even put You might even put them on, but they might not sound big to you. But when somebody puts them on, they might they might. Put them. So that's the thing. So as in I, I and my team we usually like things which we fit us. So when we are having some occasions, some events, that's what we do. We like putting on things which are trendy. Now people really think that we are doing that for levels and showing off none. That's not what we do, man. We are just feeling into fashion. Yeah, that's just the stuff. But the problem is that people ask you and teenagers, we only do that for competition, but just that not the thing, man. We, when you're putting on something, you don't you don't put on that something for somebody to say that you're just do that to impress yourself and people who follow up are going to approach you, they are going to appreciate you for what you're doing, man. So that's just the thing. Okay, somebody out there watching Timmy Costa on the Casper TV show ask, how's the life, how's the life of Timmy Costa? Can just explain how is your life now, man? As in, depending on your seat, your country, yeah, your country, your seat, your, everything, Capri, you're talking about. So how is your life now, Capri? Is it easy? Okay. It's very difficult, yeah. Let's okay, explain, how did you grow up? Okay. All those stuff, man. Okay, my life now in Capri is kind of critical, though. Yeah. I was raised by both parents, by the way. Oh, okay. Mom and dad. Okay. I've been in two different places and I've experienced a lot of stuff throughout that's, that's good. I've been around people who really tell me about what I do and I have people who really like what I do. Okay? So I don't usually force things to happen. I like doing things, I don't like doing things to impress people. I only like doing things to impress myself. Yeah. That's good. Man. Yeah. So most of the things I do, they are kind of low key. Yeah, there's a game we use, me, me and my team, we like using that we have money like government, we have plans like government, you get that. And people usually get distracted about that. In short, you use that kind of game like, like it was a rich kid, yeah, all those stuff. Nah, that's not, that's just not being a rich kid. Yeah. We only use that game, it's more like, it's more like, uh, how, how can I use that? Describing yourself. Yeah, it's more like describing yourself, what you have in your head. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, our vision, the vision we have, we all have, we all have vision like government. We all like doing that. We got plans like government. The government got a lot of plans. So we usually say that according to what we think and according to what we want to do. We don't say we are rich kids, man. If we are rich kids, can we, can we be looking like this? No, no, no. Can we be here? Well, yeah, I, don't, I don't even remember the last time I, I was in the car, man. You get that? So that's just the thing, man. So, so we're because, uh, you're trying to say that like, growing up in Kapi is not easy. That's the thing you're trying to say. Growing up in Kapi is, is, is not easy, but it's kind of pretty. Okay, let's go back to the teenagers. Yeah. So just, you just say that as in lives of teenagers in Capri, it's just competitive. That's so? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not even that so. Life in Capri is very much competitive because most of the people they want to do things for competition, man. Competition. Yeah. So that's just the thing. Why why am I saying this? Because we have we have things that we have been facing like competition, something like that. We have been we have, we have been having beefs and some other stuff. 
grudge, something like that, you get that. So that's just the thing, man. So the, the problem we have is that most of the people, they do that for competition. That's why they, they usually have grudge and greed on us, man. So it's not all about us, but there are people out there, they have been having gifts and other stuff all because of their lifestyle. Okay, our lifestyle is very kind of critical. Some people, they take their lifestyle as drinking. Some, they are footballers. Yeah. Some, I, I don't know some what they are doing. Yeah. So let's talk about this life. Okay, let me let me just give you an example of Kapiri. Yeah. As in, Kapiri Mponshi is, is the kind of, is, is just a small town which is developing. There are people from Kapiri Mponshi who are out there, but they have succeeded. Let me, let me talk to footballers. Let me go to footballers. We have some jumper. He was a, he was a former Tazala football player, do you remember? He was playing for Tazala Weaver, but right now he's playing under the club. And he's a professional footballer right now. He also plays for Zambia national team in the qualifier. We have Mwabe Musonda who's in South Africa, but he was born in Kapiri. He played for he played for Tazara and some other teams in Kapiri. But he's playing for FC Leopard. You get that? Yeah, with his Akakulu Vela was playing under he was playing under Kapiri United by then it was called drivers. So you see people, they usually don't get that sponsorship and they, they, they don't usually get that. That, uh, how can I say, they don't, they don't even get that appreciation that they yeah. can even make it up there. So we have Janice Kazu, I like Janice Kazu because he made it from his, from his city and yeah. he still is. Yeah. We have Mr. Janice Kazu who has made it. Yeah. And then when I, when I talk to music, we have people who have come here but they, have, they, they came here to help us but we never really appreciated their help. Let's talk about more money. More money by then, Swaziman was a big artist. Yeah, Swaziman, yeah. He even, won an, he, even won an, he even won an award by yeah. then. Yeah. Swaziman, he used to inspire me a lot by then. Okay, yeah. There's a hit he did with PJ, the late PJ, and he used to always do this, by the way. After he did that song, it's a banger by then. Even today, it's still a banger, man. You might travel to different cities, you might find it in different places, they are still playing. He did it with PJ. We had more money. More money was the producer of Nan. Swaziman, he, he came, Swaziman opened and studio by, by the Natu City. No money was there like for, for two months or more, more than that. But he saw that progress in Kapi, he never, he, he never had that support and people never showed him that talent he expected. After he went, it was just some few months, he became a big DJ. No money, he has produced a lot of songs, no money. And then after more money went, we, we, we had Twitch. Twitch came, he came, that was. Towards the end of the year, I remember that it was near my birthday. After he came, just the, the coming year, just after some moments, even him, we never gave him that support. He needed. After he went, just after a year, maybe, maybe just after some months, he was the one who this life. Now imagine we've had people who have been coming like that, but they have been going. So do you expect more people to come, big people like like, like more money and wish to come back with them? Yeah, but don't expect them to come but you just expect some young things to be like them yeah so that's that, why lifestyle just is just has to do with the inspiration of young people yeah, yeah. that's the thing so yeah. Jimmy Costa according to the way you have just explained yourself yeah, yeah man yeah the lifestyle of fulfilling the music sports all those things but how do you manage that like, you're, you're, you're into fashion and you're into, into music how do you manage those lifestyle yeah how do you manage okay the thing is that how i manage yeah that, uh, music is something which came from my family. Your family? Yeah. Me, I have, I, have, I have different relatives who have been doing it, but they haven't reached that level. I had my uncle, Uncle Pista, I had Kim J, and I have my brother, Juan. They have all been doing it, but they haven't been. So they had to inspire me to that. I also started music. But it seems like the, all of them, they stopped, unless from Juan, apart from Juan. Juan is still doing music. Okay? And then these people, like, they are like, they are like, teaching us more about music. All these people, Uncle Pist and Kim, they are like pushing us, they are like teaching us more about music. They are telling us not to stop until we make it. So you get that. So music is more like I have teachers who have been telling me you can do better than this. This is, not, this is not who you are, man. You have to push hard, you have to use your passion. Yeah, they motivate you. Yeah, they motivate me a lot. So music is more like it came from my family. So I don't have to disappoint because I expect more, more than I expect myself. So as in fashion, fashion is just something I made when I was growing. Yeah, yeah. I remember the the whole point of this fashion came came from the theme of uh, I remember way back we used to slay. Though. We used to slay. Yeah, we used to be slayers by yeah, then. By then, maybe 20, we used to 20, 20, 
So it came from that same vision, that's the vision we had. Yeah. From that slain really had to empower us with a lot of stuff, we knew a lot of stuff from slain. Okay, it was like you have to put on something that's trending and you have to get the right pose for you to get enough likes. Okay. The moment you get the 1k, then you'll be a king, man. Yeah, that's the only other I mean, maybe even now, people are getting 1k. Yeah, even kids, now, yeah. even now, people are, yeah. people are still doing that. So that's so just... if someone gets that, do you call him a celebrity? We don't call him the celebrity, yeah. but that's just part of fun. It's just part of fun. Yeah. So Slade, Slade is something that uh, really pushed me to the line of knowing more about fashion. Because we never used to take pictures in the same, in the same stuff we are putting on. So we used to we used to grind, we used to we used to ask or order for you. If you want to take a pic, you have to buy new stuff, man. Yeah. You don't have to repeat your same stuff you're putting on your the same thing, man. So we have we had to grind it as a man. Yeah. When you see somebody's putting on some other stuff, you also want yeah, to like the, the t-shirt, yeah, it's just we can ask you until you make it. Yeah, so like a pay, you just have to ask. You have to ask. So yeah. that's how it started. I started new in plants and some other stuff by then. That's why I knew man, there are some there are some kicks by Jordan, Nike and other stuff. So it was it was something which really had to empower me in a lot of stuff, man. So from there, Stain has made me be who I am by now. But at some point I think Stain was something which was childish, man. Childish. Yeah. So are you still a slayer like I know? I'm not even a slayer, man. Uh, why, why, man? Why? I'm trying to push my lines. I'm trying to be who I am. Yeah, man. because you said Slain was part of the vision. Yeah. So there's a vision. Comes right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So my vision comes until, until, until. So, until in fact, you're still this. You're still a slayer. Yeah. No, I'm not even still a slayer, yeah. man. I'm not a slayer. Right now, I might call myself as a broker, man, because I'm into fashion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm into fashion and music. So I call myself as a universal person. That's why I think uh, some weeks from now I'll be, drop, I'll, 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 I'll be dropping my my new song called Apple Yeah, although the part of the music right now. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So the people are expecting you, that's all I'm the king. Yeah, I'm the king. He really talks about my life now. How how we do life so way back. So it really describes who I am man. Oh, so until now you are still the king. I'm still the king. You're still the king. Oh that's good man. So like until now, who inspire you as in the vision is still born or you are your best to give up on it? Okay, I have people who inspire me a lot. Uh let me talk about Aries from South Africa. That means guys we be me, but they are me in fashion. There are a lot of them. There are just a lot of them, but some of them I don't even know. Man. I just see them through social media. Those people, they are kings over there. They are doing good, man. So yeah, I try to cite an example. Social media. On social media, there's called Boy. Yeah, and uh, also, it's Travis Dad, man. Yeah. So those people really. Inspire. How about Branch and Let's inspire you the night now, which is it? Okay, the, the nigga inspires me, but I'm not really into him. I haven't yet stopped him more, more than I did. I haven't stopped him, man. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like but you're saying Aries from South Africa. Ah, oh, in terms of music? Yeah, in terms of music and lifestyle. His lifestyle is doing great in terms of music. It's doing great, man. So, Timmy, because how are you planning lifestyle from now? Okay, my lifestyle from now. How are you planning? I'm, I'm, I'm planning to be a big artist, okay? okay. And, I'm, and I'm planning to be. I'm, I'm planning to have a company. I'm planning to have a clothing brand, man, and that's Ofki Attitudes. This is the main company. It's just the name. It was more like the introduction of Ofki Attitudes. And we still got a lot of things to, to advertise, a lot of things to introduce to them, to us to make them use. So I'm planning to become an artist, and I'm planning to be a fashion blogger, plus I'm planning to do business. So I think earlier on next year, I'll be doing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start my course business management and after that I, will, I think I'm going to upgrade myself. I think I'm going to do that in the entrepreneurship. So that's what I'm planning. I'm just trying I'm just trying to plan. I'm just trying to do something. I want to be a business So like tell me because I mean that do your parents are they in support of your lifestyle? The things you want to do as your vision. Okay. okay. Okay my parents they don't know more about me. Why? Okay. Why? The, the thing is that my parents home they know that I'm I'm, I'm just a DJ. Yeah, but they don't know that. Okay, they know that I do music, but they probably know I'm teaching. Because most of the time that when they are, we are having some 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 parties at home and they want to teach me. So they think that's what they do. But they don't know more about me in that life. Okay. Do you have some teenagers who copy your lifestyle? I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. 
but I think there are some, but they are underground. Yeah. But I haven't seen, I haven't seen someone coming to an open and telling me man, I like to buy something. Why are they underground? What do you mean? You know what? Most of the people, when somebody you, you really inspires, you can't just tell you the fact. Yeah. The thing is that you know, just talking. Yeah, you'll be just talking you. So have people have been stalking me but I can't notice if they are fans or haters. Get that? Yeah. Give me a question, do you brag about your lifestyle? I don't brag about my lifestyle. The big thing is that I don't do it to impress somebody. Give me a question, yes, I press you back to the music lifestyle. Yeah, I've just heard about your music that you're just doing great in the music. Yeah, but man. most of your music they are all rich, but According to the people, I just figured out why don't people support your music? Why is it your music up there? So how do you understand the people of Africa as a teenager? What support do they give you? All right, I have, okay, I have a lot of people who support my music. Okay. And that's my family, my friends. Yeah, okay. You get that? Yeah, there, 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 are, there are people out there who really support me, but they can't come to me. Yeah. They just can't come to Okay, the thing is that most of the people People can't just come on an on an open place to say that it's a fan or it's a legend. Oh, yeah. You might look like a follower, you get that. Yeah. So that's just the thing. The problem we have in Capri, we don't give uh, we don't give the support to each other. Okay, so um, how many songs have you sent to I've done, I think I've done seven songs. Seven songs? Yeah. Yeah. Like you said your music went back this year or last year? 2016. Okay, yeah, that's good. But I heard of your music which you did with Trey Jones, the one meant for it. Yeah, you said about teenage love. So my, I think teenage love. Yeah, you're also concerned about the teenage love. So I'll, I'll talk about the teenage love. All right. The yeah. thing is that I talked about that song is basically on me. Yeah. Usually, basically talks about. Me. Yeah. Usually, okay. Most of the things I do songs which really reflects on my life. Oh, your life. So there was there was a part I said uh, in, in main for it. There was a part that was the first place yeah. I said love stories I'm feeling. Yeah. I don't love I got no feeling. Because teenage love got no meaning. Okay. So I stay single for a little bit. You get that. Most of the times when you when you when you in, in a relationship, it's more like you endorse somebody. It's more like you adopt a girl. So so Tim Costa, you are also part of that lifestyle of being in a relationship, dating, you know? Being in a relationship is normal, man. Oh yeah, it's just normal. Yeah. It's just normal. It's yeah. more like sharing your feelings. Yeah, man. so you are just live on the Facebook TV show, be free, try to do to tell your girlfriend. Yeah. Just TV show. I don't know how I can even say it right now. Yeah, I don't know if I'm single or I'm still in a relationship right yeah, now. Man, My lifestyle is kind of confused. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so okay. let's just talk about something else. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, so we are just focusing about the teenage part of like the people they don't support their music. So how do you plan to work on that? Can I, you grow in that way? You can't grow up, man. You can't just be a big artist or like, uh, a big musician because of it's more like the person who gives you the best support is your name, but you get that. Yeah. So if I don't get the support from my local people and my local artists or my fellow friends, yeah, I can't blow up because it's more like they understand me better than those outside. Here. So it's more like when I do a track and somebody from outside my town likes a song and he checks out all my comments or my posts, just something out or just somebody's telling him about me, he, he usually underrates me. That means that person is there, he knows him better, so he can't do better for him to underrate him. That means he knows, him, he knows him better. So the great support I have to have is my hometown. So if I have the big fan base in my hometown, that means I can even make it outside there, man. Okay, so the two points I can just try to explain how can the lives of the people out there, the viewers, can be really 